black holes. We're riveted by their destructive power. Black holes are dangerous. Black holes are hazards. Black holes are not friendly for their environments. There's just no good end to anything that falls into a black hole. Perhaps one of the most frightening objects in the universe. But what exactly are these scary objects? Black holes are created when you get enough matter in a small region of space. This happens when a massive star dies and collapses in on itself. A supernova. A black hole is the ultimate consequence of gravity. It's an object that has so much mass crushed into such a small space that its escape velocity becomes greater than the speed of light. They are a one-way street. You go in, nothing escapes, not even light. But do black holes really deserve their bad rap? In some ways, I think we set up black holes to be more villains than they actually are. Black holes suffer a bit of a PR problem. I think they're a lot more menacing in science fiction and popular media than they really are. There are trillions of galaxies in the known universe. And most of them have a supermassive black hole at their center. These monsters are millions of times the mass of our sun. Their immense gravity can send stars flying. They're instrumental in choreographing the dance of stars in their vicinity. Supermassive black holes shoot out torrents of lethal radiation and violent cosmic winds and gobble up anything that comes close. Now, scientists are beginning to realize these cosmic giants may also have a creative side. Most people think of black holes as being like giant vacuum cleaners in space, and basically everything falls into them. But that's, that's not actually the case. They're better thought of as the engines of cosmic change. Although black holes are the end states of stars, they can actually influence the formation of stars as well, in a bunch of different ways. A galaxy's job is to make stars, but uncontrolled star growth isn't healthy. Too many stars can drain a galaxy's gas supply. Black holes are very important. It appears that galaxy evolution is tied to black hole evolution. We don't know exactly how yet, but the marriage appears certain. One idea is that supermassive black holes act as cosmic control mechanisms. Black holes can act like a thermostat in your house. If your house gets too hot, the thermostat will kick on the air conditioner. And if it gets too cold, it'll kick on the heater. Black holes do the same things for galaxies. Supermassive black holes regulate star formation by pulling gas in and shooting it back out into the galaxy. When these black holes are consuming matter, they're drawing matter into themselves, but they're also spewing stuff out. Basically, black holes eat like little babies, very sloppily. So a lot of it, what they eat comes flying back out again. They eat stars, they eat planets, but most often they eat giant clouds of gas. The black hole drags gas and dust into an accretion disk around it. This disk spins faster and faster. Magnetic energy builds up. With the accretion disk swirling around the black hole, there are also magnetic fields that are going on. The material is moving so rapidly that the magnetic field sort of winds up, coils up, and forms a vortex like a tornado. Astronomers call them jets. These jets propagate outward like freight trains plowing through the galaxy over hundreds and thousands of light years. 
These are like death rays. The jets disrupt the star forming gas clouds, limiting excess star formation in the main body of the galaxy. But in the very outer reaches of the galaxy, they can spark star birth. Things are more gentle out there. You're not as close to the energetic heart. So stars, planets, and life can form out there, partially because of the material that the black hole has moved out there. So black holes can have outsized influence on the regions that they inhabit. Right around them, they can prevent the formation of stars, whereas on very, very large scales, they can actually instigate the formation of stars. 2018, black holes hit the front page. Scientists discovered black holes gobbling up gas so fast that they seem to be outgrowing their host galaxies. It naturally makes the question come up, how big can a black hole get? Now, we have the answer. They can reach size triple XL, becoming ultra-massive black holes. Ultra-massive black holes are so cool because it's just mind-boggling that black holes so large can exist. Ultra-massive black holes are very rare and typically have masses of more than 10 billion times the mass of the sun. 10 billion solar masses. That's a 10 followed by nine zeros. Ultra-massive black holes are real beasts. The black hole at the center of our galaxy is 4 million solar masses. Imagine black holes that are 2,500 times bigger. That's what we're talking about here. An ultra-massive black hole this big would be as wide as the solar system and weigh as much as all the stars in the Milky Way. There are inside galaxies that aren't a whole lot bigger. That really surprised the hell out of everybody. And in 2018, scientists discover a 20 billion solar mass ultra-massive black hole growing faster than any other black hole. This ravenous behemoth devours the mass of our sun every two days. These big black holes are really good at gobbling up other things. They literally eat anything. They're monsters of the universe. This kind of voracious eating can have devastating consequences. It blasts so much energy and turbulence into the galaxy that stars no longer form. And the bigger the black hole, the faster the galaxy dies. The primary thing these ultra-massive black holes do to galaxies is they shut down all star formation. And so in that sense, they kind of kill galaxies. And so these things could even wipe out their host galaxies. Ultra-massive black holes are a problem for scientists, too. They might be the fastest eaters, but that doesn't explain how they got so large. With these ultra-massive black holes, these black holes that are tens of billions of times more massive than our sun, you can't just grow them from the slow accretion of gas over time. There's just not enough gas, and there's just not enough time. It gives us a new mystery to solve. How do you make black holes that are just that big? There's not a clear answer so far as to how these ultramassive black holes were formed. People wonder if there's some other mechanism by which you could make black holes. A mechanism so violent, it also throws supermassive black holes clean out of galaxies. 